help on the solfeggetto trill. Play the trill really lightly and the rhythm will go alligator, alligator one. Or if you want to double up your alligators to, to stand for the 30 second beat, you're going to go alligator, 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 al. And here are the notes. D, E flat, D, E flat, that happens. And then twice you go D, C, D, C. D, C, D, except the left hand left takes the last C. So you're gonna go alligator, 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 And that shows you the speed I'm taking because these are 16th notes. So, you might be like, wait, there's no way I'm gonna play that trill that speed. That's okay. Um, there's another way around it. You don't have to do two of these and two of those. You can just go and do one of each, and that works too. So that's the easier version. It was like saying alligator, 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 with a pot on this one. And then alligator, alligator, alligator. And if you want to do the full blown trill, but you can't trill that fast. It's okay to stretch it out just a little bit. You know, there's not a whole lot of moments for rubato in this piece where you kind of have stretches to make things more expressive. But if you play it really expressively, maybe everybody will think that instead of stretching the trill because you had a hard time playing it that fast, you're just being extra expressive right at that moment, which is a great trick.